I'm Joanne and this is Rocket Boom. The Barefoot Foundation in Telonia, India is perhaps the most atypical engineering school in the world. I sat down with founder and director Bunker Roy to find out more. I am here with Bunker Roy, who I'm very happy to meet, and also Andrew Zolli of PopTech. And these two gentlemen are here presenting an evening all about Barefoot College. <laughs> What I've noticed about reading about Barefoot College is that it seems that you can start with the, the smallest, simplest of ideas and really transform not only a community but kind of set about to, to change the face of a country like India. And I know you're working in one community in particular, but your work is spreading. So I'm going to hand you the microphone so that my arm doesn't drop off halfway through. But Bunker, please feel free just to fill us in and tell us all about Barefoot and your work. Well. My real education started when I started working with poor communities. And all these simple ideas that we actually applied on a large scale in the Barefoot College were ideas that we picked up from the community. If you only listen to what uh, these people, very poor, ordinary people, uh, have in their, uh, on the way they solve their own problems, I think most of the problems around the world will be solved. If only we listen to poor communities, we are solar electrifying villages all over the world. We're taking middle-aged women who are between 35 and 55, who are semi-literate, who have never gone out of their village in their lives. Uh, and in six months, we train them to be barefoot solar engineers. as you'll see today, we've done this in Ethiopia, and now we have about 15 women all together, working together and learning together, and the only common link is that they don't know the language. And yet, we are so confident that in six months, they will go back and solar electrify their own village. So I'd like you to tell me just some of the, the difficulties that you encounter. The biggest problem that we are facing is a mindset problem. It is inconceivable in, when you go through a formal system to accept uh, that a woman who has never left her village in her life in six months in solar electrify her own village. This is our biggest problem, how to convince the policy makers, the movers and the shakers that illiteracy cannot be a barrier to developing yourself. Why are we making it a barrier? And if you can break that barrier, then sky is the limit. I think this is the future. If you want to make a community sustainable, you have to take them into confidence and use their own skill. Simple as that. It's so simple. It is amazing how much uh, donations, how far the donations can go. The, the value of an investment, a minimal investment on this side, has an incredible impact on the other side. So, uh, you know, it's an incredible opportunity for everyone watching this to, to really actually do something and to participate in this incredible experiment. Thank you very much. I always think my personal motto is enough intellectualizing. We can't solve the problems if we sit around and just intellectualize them. It's actually about getting out there and doing that. And you're an example of that. Thank you very much for sparing this time with us.